we're making keto ice cream. Woo! That was so <laughs> cheesy. That was so cheesy, but you're gonna love this recipe. It better be good. It is. It is. Hey lovelies, it's Drea with Clueless Mama D and It's your lovely man, Kenny D. And we're gonna show you this awesome recipe. I think we're, are we making two flavors? Two flavors. Two flavors, it is. Chocolate and vanilla. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so all of the ingredients are super simple. You probably, if you're on the keto diet, you probably have these kinds of things in your house. The star of today's show is this xylitol sweetener. And this is from Morning Pep. Morning Pep actually is bringing this video to you guys. They asked us to do this video and we're super pumped because they have some serious claims if you've never used them before. Real quick here guys, I'm gonna give you the run through on their claims. It's made from pure birch, which I love. It's also from the USA, which is less sketchy than some of the other location for keto sweeteners. And it's like sugar and tastes exactly like sugar. Obviously, I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion when I make it in this recipe, but let's head over to Amazon. Over 1,200 ratings at five star. So Morning Pep can really just drop the mic right there. I'll make sure to link them in the description, but stay tuned to find out how this recipe turns out. And this video is also a collaboration, meaning there's gonna be a whole bunch of other awesome recipes that go in the freezer in the playlist. So. So first we're gonna make a simple creamy vanilla. You ready? All right, let's do this. All right, we're gonna do a cup of coconut milk. Get her in there, get her in there. Ooh, oh so good. And this is gonna be a creamy ice cream recipe. So to make it creamy, we've got some. Whipping cream. I wish it was organic whipping cream, but the grocery store didn't have it. Or in French. Creme à frotte. Creme à frotte. <laughs> And a cup of that whipping cream. Ooh, so good. Bye bye. Then a half teaspoons of vanilla. Yep, Dunzo. We're putting one third a cup in, guys. One third cup. And just mix her up. Simple and easy. Okay, and then you're just gonna dump that in to whatever container you're gonna put it in the freezer. You can also just shake this up instead of whisking it, but hubby just likes, he's whisk happy, so hopefully this doesn't ruin it. Yeah. There we go, there's your vanilla, guys. So the only difference for this recipe is that we are adding cocoa. So pretty much everything is the same, except we're adding cocoa and we did a little less vanilla. All right, let's cocoa it up. Why are you using that filter? Well, we don't want big chunkies in there, so let's sift it out really nicely. Sift it out. Wow. Here, we got a spoon in there. You're so smart, honey. I know, I impress myself sometimes. Just giving this a little less of a whisk. Look at that. Okay, seal the deal. Shake, 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 shake your booty. booty. I'm just gonna throw these bad boys in the freezer for at least three hours and then we'll let you know how it turned out. Okay guys, we're checking in an hour after it's been in the freezer because somebody's gotta go to bed. So let's see where we're at, but I will show you guys the three hour mark after. We're gonna give it a little stir so that it freezes a little bit more even. Oh my gosh, but it's starting to look good. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Okay, so we're gonna give it about two more hours at least, and then I will do the taste test with you. Okay. Good night. Mm -hmm. Good night, sweet love. Good night. <laughs> good night, you guys. We waited about three and a half hours, and then I sat the ice cream out for about 15 minutes. Let me show you what it looks like. Look at that guys. So because we're not using an ice cream maker, if you just let it melt for 10 to 15 minutes, it's just got that creamy texture. That's the chocolate for you. And look at the vanilla. Looks so good guys. I'm gonna start with my favorite flavor, which is the vanilla. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, that is money. It's delicious. Like, okay. I know everybody in their cooking videos or whatever says something's delicious, but this is actually delicious. Like, what kind of diet can you eat this on? Like, seriously. Off to the chocolate, although I could just sit there and eat that vanilla myself. My husband's missing out. God. Okay, promise me you will try this in the comments. Let me know, I wanna hear, cause I can promise it's delicious. This was like the easiest thing to make. It's super simple and look how much that you have. No aftertaste, like you're not getting that taste in your mouth. That's my favorite thing. So I'm hooked. Make sure you guys check out Morning Pep's link. Do your research on them and they pass by flying colors. And also check, out the also check out the description for some more freezer meal ideas. Hope you guys subscribed if you had fun and these are some more of my cooking videos. Love you, lovely. Yeah. I woke up with another siren in my mind. I can't decide if I was dreaming or alive.